I'm doing some trail running. And one of the things I'm doing while I'm trail running is trying out a new product. At least a product that's new to me. The trail crampon is a lot more flexible than those crampons that guys who climb Everest use. Those are very rigid and they need to be. But the trail crampon isn't. It uses a combination of chain, metal spike, and hard rubber. And it's a great thing to use in the winter time. If you've got a lot of ice and hard packed snow, or snow that's even slick, it gives you a lot of purchase. And when I was running up hills and in slick spots going down hills, they were biting into the terrain. And that's what they're designed to do. The only thing I had to watch out for though is how I put them on. Well, the Hill Sound Crampon is fairly easy to put on. I've got the Velcro loose and I center it up on the front of the shoe evenly and then pull it around to the back and using the tab pull all the way up. Then I reach over, loop around with the Velcro, loop around with the Velcro, take out the slack, and there I have the first crampon on and it's fairly easy. Not much to it. Now put the second crampon on the same way. Big thing is to ensure that the chains don't loop around the spikes because that'll cause a kink in the chains. All right, so now I have both trail crampons on my feet. As you can see, these spikes are pretty solid. Now, these shell gloves I have are an REI brand that I picked up for about $35. And there's not much to them. Uh, on the inside, there's just a light fleece uh, liner. But to be honest, that's all you really need for a shell glove. Because I have my primary glove, which is a 400 weight OR uh, Polar Tech glove. So this is fairly warm, and I've used these before in some very cold temperatures. But since it's about 20 degrees or less with a little bit of wind chill out here, I'm going to use the shell gloves and I have a nice little velcro tab here to close it up at the wrist. Now the only negative I see with these is that I don't have a pull tab. You want a nice big pull tab on these because when you have one glove on it just makes it that much easier pulling them up. But the gloves are fairly articulated and you have some fairly good gross motor skills. You won't have any fine motor skills, so if you wanted to start a fire, it'd be kind of difficult in these gloves. But anything that's waterproof and windproof is a good item to integrate into what you have for an extreme cold weather system. We know we use trekking poles during the summertime, but they're even more important during the wintertime. When you're trying to scramble up a steep, snowy, slick hill, these will be important. These will help you get up that hill. In addition to the micro spikes, and there's pretty much nothing that you can't beat. Well, there's a lot of outdoor equipment that you can buy for the winter time. One thing that you're definitely going to need is a shovel, a telescoping shovel, one that you can make longer, and it's gonna be easier to dig with. You don't want a fixed shovel. Now, this is a Black Diamond T3 shovel. Uh, got this online, it's a fairly decent price. I think it was on sale for about 30 bucks. Now with a good outdoor shovel, you can build a snow cave. And you can dig your car out of a snow drift if you have to. You can actually put this on the fire and cook food on top of it because it's aluminum and clearing debris from an avalanche. In addition, you're gonna be able to get the cold hard ground a lot easier. Say you're tent camping and 
you want to get dig down a little bit deeper you're going to need the shovel and you're going to need a shovel with a larger surface area but a shovel is an invaluable thing for any kind of winter time travel or adventure so do yourself a favor and pick up a shovel these are the ribs front pack now i love these things and i have about four pairs of them and i use them at all my outdoor adventures they're just a handy thing to have now this is the small size so it's about 900 cubic inches with two pockets a large one and a front combined together they have four pockets and you can add all kinds of things to these as you can see I've got a whistle and this is actually a light and a knife but I keep it simple I put my first aid kit some food and headlamp and some other items well if you like the video you saw and you want to see more just click the like and the subscribe buttons that way it lets us know that you're enjoying our videos so we'll put out more on this topic the content will be what I enjoy and I hope you enjoy it as well so we're gonna have plenty of long distance navigation videos outdoor adventures adventure sports and sports shooting that's what I'm into and I hope you're into it as well but let us know by subscribing or if you want to race with us you can go to the racecore.com page that's racecore.com and join us at one of our adventures in central ohio